Welcome everyone to similar Maple Story. And today it's just gonna be another EXP grind session. And uh, yeah, I'll talk about a bunch, bu a bunch of stuff while I do so. And uh, for the sake of my, um, for the sake of my poor brain and the fact that I don't want to be stressed out any more than I already am, we'll keep the topics related to. Maple Story or anime or other games. So, please, for my mind's sake, let's uh, keep it simple. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I am ready to do some grinding. Let us get prepared. Okay, so I have no idea how any of this is gonna work. Let me just go to the map before someone takes it. <laughs> Cause I had to make sure this map was like burning stage 10 where I got started. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, so nice music. Okay, so while we do that, not that one. This would work. Oh my god, it is stacking. <laughs> it stacks, yep, it does. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna be doing this for the next, uh, uh, how many hours? Two hours, yeah, roughly. Oh no. We have a portal already. Okay, it's fine if we do the portals as well. Okay, game, please don't play that track again when the skill's not active. Yeah, so we're gonna do a bit of an ease. EXP grind session. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Huh. Oh my god, look at my EXP. It's increasing a little bit. You guys could see it because the screen is small like ish but it is increasing a bit <laughs> more than it usually does because of all the buffs <laughs> made sure I maxed out buff duration as well on uh, the uh, thing, the event thing as well. Also, we have a lot of uh, item drop as well, but I don't want to, I don't want to focus on the item pickup because this is just EXP grind. And also I have a lot of mesos anyway, so it's fine. If I had to loot anything, it'll be the, uh... It'll be the node stones, because I do need to keep leveling up my things. Can I put the thing on a key? I can't. I have to move things around. if I could get to the next level or very close to the next level today. It's also hard to see my own gaze because there's so much. Um, okay, 
I don't want to mess with buttons right now because I can't tell because my mic's in front of my face. So, yeah. <clears throat> I can't see. No. Look at the, all the currency on the ground. <laughs> and also, I did make sure, like, obviously, like, during my previous stream and between streams, that the EXP is, um, a bit greater than, um... Um, than, like, enemies actually near my level. Like, just, like, I think, like... I don't know how much, but like at least like one digit more, like after the six, um, if you look at the XP amount. <clears throat> Already like a whole percent up now, and the stream just started. <laughs> I will get to level 250 this year. <laughs> That's kind of the goal at the moment, to get to 250 this year. <laughs> Obviously I'll be using the skill too because it's also an area damaging skill. Anyways. Also kind of related to this game. Okay, so basically, as you all know, there is a mobile game, official mobile, official mobile game called Maple Story M, and I remember when it first launched. Like when I tried to play it, and I think it was before I even got a new phone um, at the time, because I did try to play it at first, but it didn't work on my device, and my device just heated up as a result instead. Um, However, I kind of redownloaded it because I was bored, and <laughs> it actually works on my phone this time. And it's uh, really good. Uh, not too bad. I'm not spending money on it because I don't want to spend money on games if they're exclusively mobile. That's kind of my role because I don't trust mobile payment. <laughs> And... Okay, I'm gonna see if I could put this on a key. Temporary key. So I don't have to constantly uh, press the button. I mean, go into my skill tab and click it. I think I'll skip these for now, because I want to focus on just grinding. Oh, and I got it! I got a monster collection while I'm doing this. I got flag. I got the uh, this this one crushing glare. Oh, oh, no stone. Get it. <laughs> And then make sure I loot the node stones as well. <clears throat> and my throat. <laughs> my poor throat. Okay, no, don't go down. Let's see my XP increase so quickly. I do gain about like, I think without trying too much, but of course I do have the, a pendant um, EXP thingy and equipped. But like usually I get at least like 1% every day. <laughs> at least 1%, I'm not saying that is all I get. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so the last two hours, so around the two hour mark is obviously when it's gonna expire. And of course you had the burning field, which will go away after a while, but that'll be fine. I would just want to make a lot of progress today with this. Oh yeah, but anyways, that's what I was saying. So yeah, I got the Maple Story M on my phone now, and I just started yesterday, and I just got to like level 100, like just to do the the things. to talk about with the mobile game though at the moment it, i actually have it on and uh, if anyone's gonna ask uh i named my character okay i pick angelic buster and i named my character exactly the same as my character right here so if anyone wants to find me it's pretty easy to stones now. That's good. Because I do want to increase the holy symbol, like, uh, level as well, the fifth job version of it. Just focus on just fighting the enemies. Yeah. <laughs> It'll probably be interesting to skim through the VOD after this because I'm gonna see the bar like increase slowly, like as I scroll through. Can't use the same. Okay, anyways. And this it's it's so weird to use the skill sometimes because it does cover it does change the music um, for like 30 seconds I also had to make sure my buffs are always active because it's the only way to get to Uh, full damage, <laughs> like, to one-hit these enemies. this uh, track it makes me think of Nier a little bit like oh okay, if anyone's familiar Nier is a game that I really enjoy uh, unfortunately YouTube editor uh, kind of messed up some of my VODs so only like the last three videos actually work probably as it ended um, I think I don't know um, but basically the well the one I played is the remastered version which has brother near um, Oh yeah, there's a bit of history. So basically, there's two different kinds of protagonists in Nier. Um, one where the protagonist is an older brother, the other is where the protagonist is a dad, and... And from what I read in the past, like, the reason, like, the dad protagonist, like, was created was because, like... Like, because they think it appealed more to a Western audience, and... Like... While it is done pretty well, like, like there's a lot of aspects in the story that didn't make sense, <laughs> like with the changed protagonist. Um, 
And uh, the uh, near replicant version, whatever, that was released in, like, worldwide, I think? Basically, it has uh, the brother protagonist, and it's the first time in English that we have uh, the brother near instead. And also, uh, the thing about, like, the main character in that game, uh, he doesn't have a canon name, but a lot of us just call him Nier because it's easier. Um, well, it's easier than just saying protagonist all the time, so, you know. <laughs> like, he has no canon name, but I just, like, call... Like, me and, and a lot of other fans just call him, uh, Nier for, like, simplicity's sake. <clears throat> I like how there's this one person who made a lot of amazing fan art. Um, 3D fan art, by the way. It's like using the character models and creating fan art like that way. Like, a lot of really nice ones. I think I've liked a few of them on Instagram and Tumblr. I think it's, it's just like two people I found. I like, wouldn't them I discovered when they made a lot of cute uh, Kingdom Hearts ones. And, and it just went from there. Uh... <clears throat> oh, another portal thing. Oh, we need to get rid of these guys first. Oh gosh, I hate getting my buttons mixed up. We'll do these portals. Oh gosh. Ah. That's just these ones. This one. We'll still do these ones. Because I can complete them kind of quickly. Uh, Maple Story M. Oh yeah, by the way, for context, uh, I have Maple Story M open. I think I said that already. Um, and the reason is because I kind of want to have like some grinding done, and I actually don't know if I could just close out the game. I had to Google that, but I was too lazy to Google it before the stream. So, <laughs> at the game open, probably taking up some like internet <laughs> while it's doing this. So. I apologize, it is probably lag on my end. <laughs> well, the difference is my phone's wireless, so that's the thing. <laughs> Appearing in T-Voice research. <laughs> oh yeah, um... I can't wait for the next update. Because the Explorer revamp as well as their storyline being revamped along with it, so... From what I, like, look, like, skimmed through, not too much because I didn't want, like, spoilers. Like, at least, like, before I watched the videos in English and stuff like that. Um... So basically, from what I've seen, the storyline is more or less the same as the original. It's like some things are changed, like the order of events. And, like, for example... And also, like, one thing, like, for example, that, uh... So basically, like, how, like, the quest at level 25 is different depending on which explorer character you picked. I mean, like, job, uh, faction you pick, like, warrior, mage, you know. Um... <clears throat> where, like, the quest plays out differently and it makes you meet one of the explorer I mean, like, one of the characters in the storyline. And, uh... <coughs> and my throat. I got my throat, it's like... Anyways, but, like... So... So, like... 
Like, for example, like, if you picked a, a mage class, um, or magician, um, basically, in the old storyline, you meet, uh, Rondo, I think? I forgot his name. But basically, the boy with the, um, anima blood, um, in his veins. You know, animal ears. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, like, that, for example. And, but in the new storyline... From what I skim through, none of that happens. The order of events are changed. Like, the Black Mage is released between first and second job. I think, I don't know. Basically, when I was, I was like reading, I was reading the wiki a little bit. I didn't read too much, but like, I just saw that it was like set be between job advancements. So that's why I'm just saying that. And like, that's in the new storyline. The old storyline, it happens around level 80, 90-ish? Level 80. Oh, I should have said that, whatever. Monsters popping up, but that's fine. <clears throat> Got my throat. <laughs> uh, my throat's kind of bad, um, but that's okay. But anyways, the point being, like, I'm excited to see like the new storyline. And also, like, events, like, what I just explained, like, in the old one, like, if you pick a magician. Like, basically, it's from what I've skimmed through, like, and by the way, this is all on the wiki. Um, and someone edited a wiki to write down what's in the, like, um, I don't know if Maple Sea got it already. i just saying what I read off the wiki. Um. But anyway, so... Um, yeah, like, and from what I read, actually, it's not just what I read, I also actually ended up looking at the information, like, on the blog, the blog, orangemushroom.net blog, like, someone who pretty much uh, summarizes, writes down, and, like, just, like, talks about what's in KMS. Basically, I went to those posts and saw, like, that, like, yeah, so basically, the the events that happen, depending on which class you picked, um, at level 25, like, all those events happen in the new timeline, I mean, the new story version of the storyline, regardless of which, uh, explorer class you pick. Which I really like, um, it's a nice, uh, touch. Especially since all of them are, you know, obviously, you know, canon, so... Oh yeah, and also another thing, uh, and also, like, it's basically similar but different. I should probably also clarify that, because, for example, like, the seal stones, I actually was reading, like, another, like, page on the wiki about that, and so the two seal stones that are, um, apparent in the thing, basically the lore's updated, uh, about the seal stones as time went on, so it's been changed, uh, so because there was the change, like, the seal stone that was made at the end of the storyline does not exist anymore, because that's not part of the lore anymore. And the Nihal Desert seal stone no longer exists. So basically, the events of Maple Island, um, it's restored with a different one, a different seal stone. The, uh, Victoria Island seal stone. I don't know, there's a lot of layers to this. Um... And, uh, and about that, we're gonna find out when I actually play the storyline in, uh, the new update. Because I will be doing the, uh, up to level 100 one. I don't know how far the storyline goes. But I'm also leveling up one of my explorer characters. I do have a level 200 one already, but I kind of want to create a new one. 
Well, not create a new one. I already have like so many of them. But I want to get a different one to 200 because I want... Because whichever one I pick is gonna be like the... I think... Okay, that's kind of weird, but like, I, the Explorer characters and new ones have their own portraits, and it's unique depending on which uh, job uh, branch you pick. And... And, uh, and if you all want to see what each of the artwork portraits, art portraits look like for like the for the explore characters, um, it's actually all on the wiki, uh, by the way, as well as the new ones for uh, the NPCs that appear: uh, Sugar, Tess, Rondo, I think, and Olive. Olive, I forgot her name. Olive or Olivia? It's one of them. And basically, like, yeah. So, like, they their designs are updated and all that stuff. So many things. I can't wait for it because I really would love to see the new one because it does like basically a lot of things. Oh yeah, and also the thing about like uh, Tess, the NPC uh, character. Um, <laughs> interesting enough that like in the old one, you only know like the specifics of his past. So like if like if you, I forgot which class it was. Was it the archer or what? I forgot. I don't know, it's like one of, I forgot which character gets activates the the thing, but basically it's the one where like in the old storyline he's a pirate class. Obviously in the update version he's always a pirate. And it makes sense considering um who his sis who who his little sister is. <laughs> so I need to redo the buff. Anyways, it makes sense when you know who his little sister is. Um, oh yeah, and that's also another thing. Um, obviously, um, if anyone's familiar with the character um, already, the NPC character. Um, gosh, I, my brain is like not working right now. Why, of all times, work? <laughs> I said I want to loot, but I want to loot. It's so tempting. And also, I think I shouldn't sell the equipment anymore because I would like to get more um, uh, profession, like extracted stones from them. Because I need to get more of them because I want to make more EXP potions, um, increase potions. But anyways, as I was saying about like the storyline stuff so yeah like the the uh, NPC uh, character in the storyline for Explorer specifically because he doesn't appear in other storylines for some reason but uh, he's the older brother um, of uh, the uh, pirate shop instructor Chiron and uh, and do you technically meet him I don't know NPC outdated designs um, NPC outdated designs aside, like, he technically does appear in the Ellen Forest and all that. Um, I forgot where's my mouse. I'm trying to find it. Uh, let's go wait, like, when it's, like, a few seconds left. And, uh, there's a bit of lore as to why he's not, like, interacting with his sister, like in this, in like the recent of the story. Um, and I, I don't know. I don't know if it was mentioned in the old storyline, but I read this, the wiki and it's mentioned in the new storyline. Um, it probably was, but it was like hard to like, like notice because you know, like the text boxes and stuff are small. <laughs> From what I could tell, the new storyline will have the uh, actual proper text dialogue boxes that we see in the storylines now, so. I don't know if it was 
Sim. Explain. But I do know that it will in detail be explained, like, better. <laughs> and it does, like, um... My god, my brain is not working. There's so much going on, I feel like it's easier to explain when the update actually drops. So I think I'll save it for then. But basically, it's like, there's a story reason, and it's like related to the Black Mage um, curse or something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> when the story's released, I'll talk about it more then. Uh, yeah. Because I feel like I, even I'm confusing myself at this point. <clears throat> I'm looking at 10% EXP or, wait, no, not 10%. Uh... <laughs> It's not 10% yet. Um, oh, it's already a 90 burning field. That's fine. Should be able to get a lot of 30 minutes and I'm almost like already at like 5 plus percent. <laughs> I will probably get to 247 by uh, when Genshin's next update is. <laughs> Obviously, I will still grind for EXP on my own time, obviously. Oh, now it's 80%. I think I'll switch maps, uh, maybe. I don't know. When I get to a certain point in the burning field, I'll switch maps. Eh, the combo won't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so, for the most part, I'm excited to see the new Xbox storyline. I actually, I really don't know if n existing Explorer characters can still experience it. Um, I had to see and, I had to wait and find out, uh, when the update drops, uh. I actually don't know, does the blog actually talk about that? Like, if existing Explorers can still, I forgot to, if ex existing explorers like the fact that i have all the kinds of explorer characters created on this account now like scania specifically like i don't know we'll find out soon i'm really curious though because i do like to know the specifics of how it works hello I'm just thinking about the uh, next uh, update. How's BC? It is going so well. I did make sure how the EXP worked in this area, and it actually is like higher than like enemies at my level, so that's why I picked the spot. Anyways, I keep thinking about the next update with the Explore uh, storyline revamp and. Obviously, explore revamp in general. I'm trying to think, like... I didn't really read too much into the next update. Because... I don't know, I kind of want to experience it myself. Like, completely. So I kind of avoid, like, checking the, uh... Like, reading into it on the wiki and, like, Orange Mushroom blog. Um, but basically, I'm going to be, like, uh... Creating a new explorer character temporarily um, on a different server. I mean, world in the same server. When uh, the update drops, because I want to see the new story from the beginning. And also, I keep thinking about like what it will be in the next update. Like thanks to like KMS stuff. I'm talking about like, because KMS back in the winter got the Destiny, de eh, I can't talk, Destiny update, and it has like the Explorer revamp stuff. Uh, okay, make a new character please. And basically because Global's getting one and because I have all my Explorer characters at 100 plus now, um, I'm gonna create a new character 
Um, explore a character. Oh gosh. New explore character to experience the storyline, but not on Scania, because I have every explore character created on Scania. That's what I mean. Like, Scan on Scania, this, this one, I already created every single Explorer class um, that's available. And I don't want to create a new one on this one. And also, I can't just delete one because I put so much effort on these characters. I'll be faster. No, I already created all my characters. And I think at this point, I've been, like, playing around, like, um, leveling each of them, like, on random days. So I'm kind of already, like, getting closer to 140 on all of them. At this point, I'm like, no thanks. I got my legs. Aha! I've been sitting in my chair for, like, 40 minutes now doing this. I will admit that some of them are pretty difficult to play. Um, that's why only some of them I have are actually above 140, while some others are not. I need to fix myself on this chair. Okay, I'm trying to remember which characters I am. Uh... Also, I did make sure I did the old uh, Explorer storyline on all my uh, Explorer characters as well. I think another reason I just can't just delete one is because, like... <laughs> well, I did put so much effort into them, and also, I did, like, put cosmetics on them. And I know I can remove them, but it's, like, not just that. <laughs> I don't know, there's many layers to my reasoning. But basically... Well, the plan is, like, for the new storyline, I'm just gonna level, like, have them go through the story, so it's, like, probably up to 100 or something. <clears throat> and, like, see the differences there. And, uh, what else? I basically... Basically, it's like, I'm just creating a new character just to see the whole story. Because I don't know how, like, the next update will be handled with exist- like, existing explorers. Cause if, like, cause, like, obviously I wouldn't be able to do the tutorial, like, uh, beginning of the new storyline, so I- Yeah. <laughs> I started with the same. Yeah. I- I- <laughs> I don't know if I did mention this already, but I have created characters on Reboot. But I haven't reached level 200 on Reboot, because I'm not that active on there anyway. And also, while the stream is going on, I have my phone on doing a, like, grind session in MapleStory M. And partially because I actually don't know if I could just close the game yet. Because <laughs> I didn't look that up, like, before the stream. Like, like, okay, Google, do I actually do this? <laughs> like, can I actually close the game? So, my game is kind of just sitting there right now. Although, I think I should close it because it's starting to heat up. <laughs> Also, I'm almost at 10% already from this, like, grind. Because I started the stream at 77.3% EXP, and now I'm at, like, 84.9 EXP. Well, it probably has to do with the fact that I have, like, a lot of EXP increasing items on me today. I 
keep thinking about the new update. Oh yes, speaking of the n the next update, uh, I actually do okay. I know orange the orange mushroom blog like did like like detail the skill changes and stuff, but I didn't read through any of that. <laughs> So I actually have no idea what is going to be different with skills at all, um, when it happens. <laughs> Cause, like, that's- that is actually the thing. Because, like, whenever a new class or update happens in MapleStory, I mean, in the past I used to, like, read through, like, the blog to see what was, like, new in Camas, but now I just kind of skim through it and be like, okay, that's cool, and just wait. <laughs> like, now I just, like, like, well, now is basically that. Whereas, like, nah, I'm not gonna read what the skills are gonna be. I'm just gonna find out by sheer force when it's actually released in the game. Because, <laughs> like... Let's see what's popping on Reddit. Okay. Because I remember, like, for example, like, Kane was released... Well, I mean, this happened many times already, but like, for example, like, Kane's release, I didn't read a single thing about his skills, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna find out as I go. <laughs> and that 99% of the time works out for me. Okay, and my skill just... It's so weird that sometimes when the skill, like, expires for the one that changes the music, like, it takes a few seconds after to actually end the music. Oh, there goes Nightbot. I forgot my Nightbot's enabled. It's, it hasn't been enabled in ages, I thought. to do the top corner to make sure I have a lot of these things like on still. Okay, what else? But it, it, anyways, like, and also like, obviously because I don't really read through like skill stuff, like, Whatever is happening in the Explorer, like, revamp in the next update, I have no idea what's gonna happen with it. <laughs> so I'll just find out how it goes when it drops. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting, because I'm gonna go on all my Explorer characters to see the skills. Oh yeah, that's also another thing. Obviously because the new storyline, it doesn't, like, obviously include the, uh, unique Explorers, like Cannoneer, Pathfinder... Okay, I'm not gonna count global exclusive, uh, versions, because, no. <laughs> I don't even play Jet at all, like, that's the one character I don't play. Along with, uh, Beast Tamer. I do kinda play Hayato and Kana, but I don't really play them too much. I just, like, level them to 120 for their Link skill, and that's it. Anyways, like for the unique explorers, like obviously, like their their things are different. I I wonder if it's like different the uh, what's it called the uh, storyline. Like they don't do the storyline because I always found it weird that they're still able to do the explorer storyline, even though they never been to Maple Island. <laughs> like, well, technically Pathfinder I guess was kind of implied, but her case is like different compared to the. Like, I just found it weird. Like, it's just like, why are they so able to do this quest line even though they never meet, like, anyone on Maple Island? I wonder... I really should have, like... I don't know. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. When the update's gonna happen, like, next month or something global, so it's fine. I don't need to read anymore. I really don't want to read any more of it because I'm going to be reading this storyline when it's like updated, so. I'm going to be doing that anyway. I'm 
wonder if there's a way for me to close out my phone because I'm gonna like log out. Of my game. Okay. I'm gonna close my phone because it's starting to heat up naturally. I mean, when you leave your phone on, that, of course, it heats up. <laughs> God, I still remember when Maple Story M was released. I did try to play it the first time, but I think I had my old phone, like, and it didn't work. It just went like. We have no idea what we're doing, so the game is just gonna crash, the kind of thing. That's when my phone was like, the game is will just crash. <laughs> because the phone can't handle it. Oh yeah, and also, yeah, I do play mobile games. I mean, yes, I do play Genshin, but I played a PC version um, of it because my phone, I can't even play it on my phone. I mean, I thought about it, but I was like, because I had a PC version, I was like, there's no point in playing it on my phone. And also seeing people have like, it's like, say, 10 gigabytes on their phone device being taken from Genshin. I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to play it on my cell phone. Phone mobile. Gotcha. Yeah, I do play gotcha games. Although if it's mobile exclusive, I don't spend a single, like, dollar on it. And I'm saying that because I do spend money on Genshin. But it's not like $100 right off the bat kind of thing. It's more like just like the $5 um, every month thing. Like how much I pay for my like Crunchyroll subscription. Oh, the Crunchyroll subscription is, uh, $8. Well, oh, the thing is, I only have the subscription if, like, if I'm gonna binge on, uh, anime watching. That's the difference. <laughs> Are you gonna try to turn on Like, uh, no. Oops. Eh, buttons. Press. I'm trying to put... There we go. Mm. But anyways, uh, no. <laughs> I only play select ones. Like, ones that actually, like, like, interest me, like, the most. I lost my, my train is off trying to grind in. Okay, now where was I? Oh yeah, I did mention, uh, gotcha. Oh yeah, speaking of like gotcha, um, because Genshin is updating. Okay, based on, I didn't... it's hard to say because like sometimes they post like the times of the update in uh, the CN time zone, and sometimes like in the Eastern time zone NA. Um, so, but like if I'm right, I think based on what I've seen. Related to the uh, my time zone, it's technically updating late Monday. Um, like the next update is late Monday for me um, in Genshin. So uh, my next couple of streams will be focused on the uh, new content. Uh, although it depends on if the new story is dropped uh, right when the update happens. Because I know people are gonna spoil it all over like Tumblr and stuff and I really want to at least do like the one of the story stuff like right away before people start spoiling it. <clears throat> and also I think they have the update set for like 
if it's for EST time, it's like late Monday, but technically the next day for other time zones. Um, I think. Oh, elite boss, who knows? Okay, so we should be able to do this quickly. Where'd the boss go? Oh, it's up. Oh, the boss is there. Oh yeah, fun fact. Uh, obviously these uh, elite bosses have voice acting. You just can't hear it because there's no sound effects. Oh god, I almost died. About it. Are the elite bosses okay? I obviously the lore related to them is in Grand Athenaeum episode six, but like, have the voice actors like been the same the whole time? Is the question. I wonder if they updated it because like of the lore um, revealed. Uh oh. Oh yeah, and also uh, speaking of the voice actors for like. These characters specifically, um, especially in Grand Athenaeum, they have been confirmed in Global, so they're another case where the Global voice actors are confirmed for them. Oh God, I hate that skill. <laughs> oh no. I'd be careful with that. That's like easy uh, death. Like, I want to finish this already, please. I need to go back to my grind session. Oh my god, I, oh, I really hate the reverse ones. Oh no! What? I dodged that! Oh my god, please finish. <laughs> I apologize if you just hear me clicking my keyboard, spamming M. One. I hate the one that reverses the keys, especially when, like, it fades away and you're like, what are you doing? There you go, finally, it's done. Uh, now we just have to wait. Oh, we're gonna take this to be a moment of recollecting ourselves a little bit. Redo that buff. Okay, now we're back to this. Okay. We've been like 57 minutes already, like about 10% EXP earned today. Anyway, so I think I think I, I was like talking about the Genshin before I got interrupted. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the next couple of streams after this will be Genshin related stuff from the new update because the new update drops technically late Monday, technically. And I say that because it's in my time zone, um, based on like what I read. I don't know. It's weird because some of the posts they kind of speak, they kind of discuss the time of the update in another time zone, as well as the EST time zone mixed in, like somewhere. So it's confusing. So at least my next three streams, I think. I don't know. It depends on what's available on day one. I hope it's like the story quest, like at least two. I'm not sure about the hangout because. Like a like event thing. Cause I don't know if it, that'll be available on day one. Basically it's like whatever's available on day, day one, I'll do it uh do each of them per stream. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll 
also like and also oh yeah this is the one time where it's like it's pretty lucky that the update is like basically it'll be completely available on Tuesday. it's like completely available on tuesday no matter what and that means i could stream it on that day because well obviously it's only an exception this time because of what happened in shanghai um over like at least like the past month or two i don't know how long it was that it happened and basically it's like the one time like an exception that it an update is up on a tuesday so i could actually stream the story immediately because i don't i don't really stream on wednesdays is the the thing Sometimes I do, and it depends on if I'm able to pull it off, because um, on Wednesdays, my family's, my family's home, as well as the weekends, um, obviously. Um, and I usually can't stream because one, one, of my fam one of my relatives is just really loud, always talking in co-op in whatever game he he's playing in his room. And it's annoying. Especially when uh, he doesn't close his door. <laughs> it's like the thing, it's like, you know, I obviously have my door closed where so the sound is muffled. Like, I have done, like, microphone tests, like, like, before streams a lot to prove that my microphone can still catch people talking in the background despite having my door closed. And it's annoying. And it makes me wonder if I'll be able to voice act if people are that loud <laughs> sometimes. I mean, of course, I could just say, hey, I'm recording, shush. But still, it's still annoying to do it every time, though. Uh, just a bunch of things I think about. Oh, now I'm exactly, like, over 10% since I started stream. I think most days I'm gonna try my best. Oh, I forgot the buff. Nah. That was awkward. Yeah, on most days when I have time, I'm gonna try to grind a little bit of EXP per day on my main. Be, like at least like a certain threshold so I could get fast get to 250 faster not 10 percent 10 percent takes a lot of effort <clears throat> anyway it's a point big I I always derail when it comes to, like, when I start talking random stuff after what I'm talking about, supposed to be talking about. And basically, uh, I do make exceptions, um, depending on if it's possible to stream on Wednesdays. It's not always gonna happen, but it depends on if I'm able to pull it off, since... Usually, it's just me and one of my relatives at home on Wednesdays sometimes. Technically, everyone is usually home, but <laughs> everyone's always busy in the afternoon, so that's usually when I'm able to have the chance to stream. Let's say that. Oh, I got five node stones. That's a good amount. I need to keep collecting node stones because I want to level my decent holy symbol. I, it's only on level 11, technically level 6, but I put it on an enhanced slot. Um, so it's uh, level 11 right now. And I'm making sure to use it because I do need more EXP. Oh yeah, and speaking of the EXP thing, I do have the Legion. I readjusted the Legion, like, Maple Legion thing, so I have all the bonus EXP filled in. I think- oh yeah, I think I mentioned I would have shown that, but I think I didn't. Oh yeah, 
yeah, now that I think about it, not only is the explorers getting revamped as well as their storyline getting updated with updated lore and stuff, and, you know, and all that. Um, another thing is obviously a new area in the 270 plus range. Which, again, is ridiculous because you have to be an extremely high level to actually do the storyline yourself. Um, hopefully people record it because I would love to watch it. Um. <clears throat> anyway, so... Yeah, the... Yeah, I'm excited to see what the new storyline is. Like, I've, I'm gonna watch it on YouTube because... <laughs> obviously... Because <laughs> of the obvious reason, I am clearly nowhere near that level. So... I can't wait. Just the burning field. I think I'm probably gonna change the burning field. I mean, change the map, like channel, not the map, change the channel um, to uh, a different one. Maybe. I don't know. I don't care too much about the combo today, so it's fine if I do. Although it'll take a while considering how many enemies are spawned right now. <laughs> I have to completely leave the map <laughs> if I'm gonna do that. You know, I'm probably gonna do that right now. Just a little more EXP grind, real quick. Although I still get a lot of it, so I'm like, should I change it? I still have another hour. Maybe I shouldn't. I know, I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, I think I'll be fine. I still gain a lot of XP. I mean, this is clearly a lot. I also have like the the um, reward points uh, purchased uh, coupon as well, so I have a lot of XP. This is the most I've gotten, like recently like in this to be fair it is because of all the buffs as well so that makes sense anyways uh changing the subject again what else to talk about I already discussed Genshin and that I'm gonna be playing it. Oh yeah, I do want to mention this one thing related to Genshin. Um, because it's like it annoyed me for several days. And, uh, no, it has nothing to do with, like, artifact grinding, which obviously is annoying already, but that's not what's annoying. <laughs> I should probably mention it's because it's been annoying me for days, and it's the fact that for the past several days of playing Genshin, the game, the game's RNG system of daily quest keeps giving me the same commissions from the same a NPC for the past several days. Technically, it's been happening a lot for several months, but for some reason, the game th can sense my annoyance and decides, you know what, I'm gonna annoy her even more. And so for the past several days, I have gotten the, oops, I have gotten the same commissions, like somehow appearing, and I'm like, why does this 
game suddenly doing this to me? I'm not gonna say what the quest is because I feel like if I say it, I'll be cursed even more. Oh my god, why is my phone backing up data? I had to deal with this after, my, after the stream. But anyways. And what doesn't help is that, like, ser like, and I'm not kidding, ser for the past seven days, I've gotten a quest related to the same NPC on five of those seven days. And I'm like, why is the game doing this to me? And here's the thing. The NPC's quests are commission, are, like, achievement related. But here's the thing. I got the achievements last year in March and May, respectively. Or was it February instead of March? I don't know. And I got them last year, and I am trying to get the other commissions to pop up so I could get their achievements. But no, I got the same character NPC showing up for several months, way after I finished the commission. And basically, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna switch the region to a different one. And guess what? I still get the character and their stupid quest popping up. I'm like, how? Why are they appearing even though I have it switched to a completely different region from the character? So yeah, that's uh, how what I've been dealing with for the past several days. And it's annoying. So yeah, that's a bit of a rant I want to have, because <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Like, it's like the game, like, basically, like, let's say, there's like, maybe about like 20 unique NPC quests or something. And two of them are related to the character, although there's a chance that you get one of them from like, I don't know why, but you get them anyway. Um, on the regular three that are like, just usually defeat enemies, like, quest. And it's like, basically, you have a, usually a 0.5% chance of any of the quests. And technically speaking, that means like there's a 1% chance for those quests. And I'm like, of the 0.5% usually, why does the game keep giving me the same 1% for several days in a row? Like, at this point, I'm just doing commissions just for the Primo gems, so I don't, like... Because that's how, obviously, how you get more of the fates to do the gotcha. But it's like, can the game give me variety for once? Like, I like... I, like, I prefer any of the other commissions, no matter if I already got their achievements, over the same one that I've gotten for, like, so many days now. Also, to make up for one of the days, I actually did get a achievement, quest achievement, so, uh, from a different quest, so, that's okay, but it's not okay for the last several times. What doesn't help is that when I actually did set it, the commissions to random in the game, I got the same quest twice in a row, twice in two days in a row, and now I got in one of the other quests, Ugh. It's a cycle of suffering that I'm like, why hasn't there been an option in the game to filter out commission quests? <laughs> like, if, like, if players are starting to get this, like, several times, like, someone, someone got it even worse and got it eight days in a row, as opposed to me who got it, like, I got it on five days, but, it, like, but, like, it's, uh... As you can tell, I'm suffering in some way, and I also forgot to do my buffs. <sighs> Anyways, I, I I feel like I should stop talking about this. <laughs> uh, I don't know how my karma even works. Like, what is the what is my unfortunate luck? And no, it has nothing to do with me having a character with bad luck in Genshin. No. I haven't even used him in a while, so that's like in par in a party setup, so that's another thing. Uh, I just want variety, like any other quest and the same one for days. Also, what like the thing is like, oh, it's not that bad of a quest after the recent story. 
Well, it's annoying when you get this item that you can't delete from your inventory normally unless your character is KO'd in the game. So, you know, that's the annoying part. I don't want the item. Because it's like, it's the worst kind of like item in the game. And I hate how the character keeps giving it to me for just one quest, no matter if I fail it. Oh yeah, that's another thing. You can actually fail a quest, but still get the rewards for it. And that's what I've been doing out of spite of how much I hate that quest because I'm just like, I, I don't want to help this character anymore. Why are they constantly saying, oh, it has to be you, you have to help me, even though I clearly have not been of help to the NPC for the past 50 times. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I'm convinced that at this point I've gone in the quest 50 times now. You know, the game should do that. Like, for when you got the achievement for the quest, they should keep track of how many times you got it. Oh wait, no, not really. The quest keeps track of success. Would keep track of success. But the point being is that I probably have gotten it 50 times, and after probably like 10 times, I started failing it intentionally because I'm so tired of it. Uh... Yeah. <sighs> okay, and I'll talk about it. I really don't want to talk about it anymore. It's just my suffering with the RNG system now. Like, come on. It's like there's literally like 20 other quests and the game gives me the same one. Like, there's literally so many other quests available in the thing and it gives me the same one. And I should probably clarify, the same two. There's two quests from the NPC. And I've gotten... And I've done them both last year. Literally a year ago. Uh. <coughs> oh look, 90% EXP now. I don't want to talk about that anymore because I feel like my karma is going to bite me back again and uh, do the same thing again. Uh, maybe I'll update everyone in my next Genshin stream, <laughs> which will probably be Tuesday, um, about my unfortunate luck. Related to Genshin, um, so basically, obviously, gotcha games, I feel like they kind of release a lot of female characters, but it also depends on the game, um, in question. And Genshin, for some reason, has been really, has released, <laughs> um, by next update, it'll be a total, okay, technically the total 33, but if I'm not counting the Traveler, character because you know you pick whoever not counting the traveler character and um the crossover characters if there's going to be more than one in the future there's 32 female characters in the game and and uh because of that and also noticing that the number of boys are like about like 16 total in number uh at some point i have decided not really some point, but ever since 1.6. Okay, technically before 1.6 uh, came out. I have sworn to only pull for guys in Genshin. Like, I, like intentionally. And, uh... As of the time of this session, which is uh, May 26th, uh, 2022, I have not pulled any of the featured 5-star girls in Genshin. Like, accidentally. And I say accidentally because...
I made an exception where I will pull on those banners if a new four-star boy is released in the game. And for example, the only time that's happened was Toma. Um, yeah, that was the only time that's happened. So yeah. And I will say, only pulling for the guys have basically saved me so much money. And, uh, and I'm gonna say more than that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was gonna say how many fates, um, which is basically the gacha pulls, um, in the game. How many I've saved. I'm not gonna say it on the stream. If people wanna know, it'll be on my next stream. <laughs> uh, like, I'll just casually show it on my stream if anyone asks. So... Well, technically, I'll just show up anyway, because, like, I tend to open my inventory, and it will sometimes be on the page. So, you'll see. You'll see how many I've saved. Also, the number has increased a lot because of, um, Ayaka's banner. Like, just, like, being extended because of, like, um, 2.7 delay. Ah... I'm just not over that, like, I have done that in Genshin. <laughs> like, I am swearing to myself that I only pull for the guys. And then, uh, yeah, in Genshin. Who are you talking to? Well, I'm trying to entertain the stream and the recording. Because I'm uploading this to YouTube. Also, you, it's his first time chat, so hello. Exhausted. Probably because I literally ranted about my unfortunate luck in the video game like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Sorry. What well, don't don't people talk to themselves anyway when they make videos on YouTube though? Like, come on. It's not that different. <laughs> hey, seriously, I seriously I've watched so many YouTubers. <laughs> Uh, I got my glasses. Anyway, so I've just basically been talking about Genshin a little bit. And I'm about to change the subject again. What channel is that? In the game? 15. Anyways, I'm just trying to get a lot of EXP today because I really want to be closer and closer to 250. That's the thing in this game. It's like, there's so many amazing storylines, but uh, it's impossible to access at like... What the? Oh gosh. Take that off. Uh, thanks. <laughs> oh god. Ah! I also have like about like 40 minutes left for like... Oh right, I forgot. I got the, the totem like unlocked around the time I put this potion up, so... Um, I don't know how you can trade up 3%. Well, it was said 100% at the start. And then someone just went in and <laughs> and bu bumped it to 100%. Uh, bear in mind that I've been here for like an hour and 20 minutes now, so it was 100% an hour and 20 minutes ago. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh, thanks. Getting close to uh, what's the level? 247 now. I'm... Anyways, 
I also ran out of things to talk about. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other stuff to talk about. But I pretty much like covered a, like a lot of things, like thinking about the next update in MapleStory and all that stuff. Oops. But it. Oh yeah, and also another thing about grinding so much for like, like at least an hour now, is that I start to forget which buttons I put the uh, stuff on, and I start pressing the wrong keys, and I'm like, uh. Ah. I mean, I have a guild, but I literally just like threw all my characters into the same guild, so. I just also like to keep track of my own, like, uh, character. By the way, you don't have the link skill on. What link skill? He's an only sub- I it expired! No! Gosh. See what I mean? I forget! <laughs> like, I get so distracted, I don't pay attention to the corner of my screen. <laughs> Uh, that's the thing. I don't have auto buff on my pet. <laughs> but I do have the maple points for it, so I should make sure I get that after my stream. Oh yeah, I should probably explain my pet. <laughs> the pet I have is permanent, but I got it in an event that was, I think, way before the auto buff was even added, so. It's pretty for you, Auction House. Oh. Well, again, I can't do that right now, because I wanted to focus on just like pure grinding today. Well, I will do it after my stream, so. Gosh, I'm so close. Eight percent. Well, it's only gonna be up to two forty-seven though. <laughs> I'm still like gonna be three levels away from two fifty. shoulder. Ow. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I have been sitting in this chair for like an hour and a half. Okay. Again, I'll, I'll do all, all that stuff like after my stream. Link skill, like the. I have my zero at level 200, so I have the bonus, um, um, filled in. And I made sure I get my got my zero to 200 recently because I noticed the thing. And I did have the entire. I have the entire bonus EXP Legion board filled in. As for my Mercedes, I only have her at level 164 or something, so uh, I only have level 2 of the EXP link. I can only have plus EXP sunlight. It's good. Well, that has so many layers. Basically, I got a lot right now. I also have like the cash shop, uh, whoops, that's not the cash shop. This one, um, as well. Cannot be used by characters to 50 above. Well, I'm level 246, so it's fine. Oh 
Oh yeah, I also have the e e EXP from the event as well, the sunlight thing. I was trying to remember, it's like, what's that? <laughs> And I currently have the pendant that gives the 30 plus uh, percent. I thought the EXP reduction next update is 250 to 259 based on what I read. <laughs> and I thought they already decreased it. I did read up on what the, the next uh, global update will be, um, and one of them was that the EXP redu will be reduced between 250 and, yeah, and 259. I am aware. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Because I I actually only started playing again like about how many days ago? Like at least like a week and a half ago or something. And I missed my opportunity to get two of them. <laughs> well to be fair, that's what I get for not playing the game for like three months. So Yeah, I'm aware. Well, the hopefully time I actually play Mipster actively every single day now. So. Pitching coin cap into this room. Well, yeah. I'm pretty sure the potions in there don't work for 250. <laughs> well, not 250. 246. 47. Almost 47. So many layers. <laughs> so many layers to leveling up. Oh dear. Yeah. The last little coupon I could use today. At least you see you speak well. I am slowly starting to forget my own skills. Another node stone. I have to make sure I get this node stones because I need to increase uh, my uh, fifth job skill. Skills. Plural. I also did totem expires in like 30 minutes. <laughs> That's usually the time I end my stream anyway. Like when I do these EXP grind sessions, they're only like two hours long. Usually. I sometimes grind a little more, like last time, where I wanted to get the max combo, but that's it. Oh my god, I want to see if I can level up. I'm so close. I'm skipping all these portals now because I just want to focus on getting my character up. <clears throat> I 
have so many mesas now. One shot the wolves, so no. don't skip the portals like in, when I do these like exp grind sessions but since uh, this time I did change things up a little bit I rather not miss a second of the map like grinding that I always make sure of is like to pay attention to how much EXP I get at least like regularly from enemies because something I notice is that there's a like a specific like EXP like like difference I don't know how to put it into words uh, basically it's like when I was like grinding like in Celos um like Esper and Celos before um like, before I even got to Moonbridge, like, I noticed that, like, the enemies that are at least the same level as me, or, like, one level, or one level, like, higher or lower than me, like, have, like, more EXP than an enemy two levels higher or lower than me. So, like, I try to make sure I find maps. Well, I mean, I know I was recommended this map because it's pretty good. Um... idea what that means. Anyways, what was I saying? I forgot. Uh, when I get distracted, I forget what I'm talking about. I mean, I can't one-shot these enemies. Like, they're dying really fast. I mean, like, I can't one-shot the wolf. <laughs> because the wolf has, like, uh, so much, like, HP. <laughs> like, whenever I do the wolf, like, I can at least, like, do enough HP that is, like, a literal inch, like, at least, like, an inch off their, uh, HP bar. Oh, no, no. Keep pressing the wrong button. That's fine. I know what I'm doing. Just <laughs> my legs. I'm getting into the part of stream where I'm slowly getting exhausted because it's been an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, where can we? Ah, here it is. Da, da, da. <laughs> Should be careful not to get stuck. Close to the next level. I want to get there. 
I can definitely get there today. sitting here in silence for like at least like five minutes. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm always so tempted to keep looting all the money off the ground. Oh yeah, a bit of a random thing, not that I mentioned that. <laughs> because I play so many games, I'm starting to mix up the in-universe currencies in each of the games I play, and it's been exhausting. <laughs> because, like, I'm like, why do I... It's like, why do I do this to myself? I can't remember, like, a, like... Okay, I, it's hard to say recently because I'm going to go back to playing the game soon, but... But I play a game called Trails, um, a franchise, like, games related to a franchise called Trails. Um, in Japan, it's, uh, Kise Kiseki, uh, Kiseki? Whatever it's pronounced. And... And the, uh... Hold this up again. Oh yeah, and the game in question, the in-universe currency is called Mira. And I was like, okay. Actually, here's the thing. Because I've been playing Genshin for two years, and uh, like only a few months ago, I was playing a lot of Trails. Um, I mean, I've been like uh, actively like, like experiencing the franchise, but like specifically, um, t like a few months ago, I was like playing through Cold Steel three and four. I'm still not done with four yet because I've been lazy. Um, I'll get into talk about trails, um, in a bit about that. But basically, the end, end game currency um, is Mira. But because I've been playing a lot of Genshin as well, at this point, I just do dailies and stuff in Genshin. Um. The in-game currency is Mora, and while I was playing Trails, I have called it by the wrong currency, like, at least, like, so many times now. And it's ridiculous. It's like, why do I do this to myself? Also and also in this game, I may have called the, the currency in this game Mora Mira at some point, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's happening. Why no? to this. <coughs> oh wait, sorry. Is so, that like 20 minutes? What? I'm so close. I mean, even if I don't get on stream, I'm always, I'm gonna get the level anyway, no matter what, so. <laughs> and then when I think about it a lot, like I have gotten a lot of levels within a year pretty easily. Although I will say it's when I'm active and actually getting the level of potions to actually get to the level and stuff. 
Like, un in the year uh, 2020, um, with this character, um, at the start of it, I purposely, like, I purposely made sure I leveled to 220 at the start of that year. And in the same year, I did at least get to 231 in level wise. At least, like, up to that uh, level on this character. And then the next year, I. Technically, I think I got up to. I don't know, but it's definitely up to 240. Uh, whenever I did sell us, um. I can't check because I had to. Actually, I think I can. I could go on my phone. Although, I don't think that's gonna help me because I uploaded so much Genshin <laughs> since then. I'll try to multitask and go on my channel to see when I uploaded Sell Us. Oh, I did second. Yeah, I also did second that too. almost a year ago. And sell us was two for oh. Yeah, you can really tell when I was very inactive in this game. <laughs> it really sucks that I didn't play for a few months. I just couldn't like play Maple Story like after like because of classes. So it's like that's why I didn't like not even like to do dailies. Um I wish I did because I missed I now missed my chance for like two level potions. It's fine, it's fine. Ah, but it's still annoying to think about. <clears throat> videos on my phone. this up in my last uh, EXP grind session, or before I started it. Um, and like, another thing in the next update, I did mention another like 270 plus area. I don't know what level it's gonna be, because when I tried to check the wiki, it just said it's also level 270, but I don't know how true that is. It's probably 275 or something, but I don't know. <clears throat> And, uh, what's that? I just got a bit of lag. Anyway, so, um. <sighs> but, like, yeah, I can't wait for you to, like, to see the next story stuff. Hopefully, someone records it, um, so I can watch it on YouTube. And, uh, in the next, uh, high-level area storyline, I did bring up that, obviously, uh, fami not really familiar. Like, he won't be familiar at the start, but I did look it up, and yeah. So basically, uh, T-Boy is the, is an antagonist again. Pops up again. But this time you actually 
see what T-Boy looks like. And I mean, I said this in my stream, but I have to admit again that I was on the wiki and I was reading, well, technically on his page on the wiki, it was, it's just, it's just his involvement in Reverse City. Like, there's nothing on what he did in, um, whatever. Okay, I have to wait till we know what it's going to be called in global, because I actually don't know what the area is going to be called in global yet. Um, but basically, next storyline thing. And, uh, like, we actually see what he looks like, and I have to admit, he is adorable looking <laughs> for a villain. And one thing I will I have said about like when I saw him was that he reminds me of a, of like like the moment I saw what he actually looked like, which we don't find out until the next storyline in the next update for global. And basically I compared him to like a hamster like saying, I am evil, fear me, and I just <laughs> I can't take him seriously. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, sure, sweetie, do whatever you want. <laughs> it's kind of my response. <laughs> but yeah, he <laughs> I'm a little bit just like, he's just adorable. <laughs> like, for a villain. It's silly to think about, but I am being honest. That's what I thought. And also, like, from my reading... Okay, basically, obviously, I don't know completely because, you know, we have to wait till it's actually in the game and I watch a YouTube video of the English version. But from what I read of the uh, summary for, like, the story in the next area, in the next update for Global... <clears throat> And from what I read, basically he's like, for some reason, like T-Boy kind of gives off like Orchid, like similar similarity to Orchid. Where like he is an antagonist and has done crime basically um, in the story, evil deeds. But like, it's like there's something about him that makes me think of Orchid, like with her having a heel face turn. I don't know why, it's like, there's something about him that just has that energy. Um... When I saw, like, when I read through the thing. And also, I have, like, other characters that I could actually, like, check the story on as well. Um, the reverse... The reverse city story, because I'm now curious about one particular thing, because while I was just, like... When I kind of went back on my own recording to check, like, the ending of Reverse City. I noticed that, like, T-Boy's sister mentions did you fall for her? And, obviously, I'm, I play a female character in this game. So I'm like, is it I like the same or similar? Well, I mean, it probably is similar. Um, but, like, it's making me think, it's just like, wait, is this, how, uh, it's probably not a big deal, but I'm just, like, curious because, like, because, you know, <laughs> just curious. Come on, there you So the same. Oh yeah. <laughs> but basically the point being, uh, T-Boy is adorable. <laughs> Even though, like, obviously a lot of reasons. I mean, it was like the moment I saw his like, his NPC portrait art from like the next storyline, I'm like, 
He's like a hamster who tries to be evil, like, physic, like, visually evil, and, like, they fail terribly. <laughs> Also, yeah, I do. Ha yeah, I have to wait till the story is like actually released and stuff. I'm just really curious of like because I did read the summary, but it's kind of hard to read on the page where my eyesight will actually hurt from staring at like darkness for too long. But like, it's a little confusing in some parts, so I really would like to see like the story, like see what his role is completely. Anyways, uh, that's enough talk about, uh, that character. Oh, yeah, although I do want to add something. I have found, like, this one person on Pixiv, um, an artist, who has made fan art related to, um, these characters. Because I remember, like, a while back, like, obviously before we actually see, saw what T-Boy actually looked like without that helmet on his head, um... Like, I have found, like, I found someone on, like, Pixiv, like, making fan art of, like, the characters and their interpretation of what he probably looked like before the reveal. And I think I found the artist, and they have made fan art recently related to, um, obviously his official design, and I love, I love the art. It's so nice. And in their style, they made him more adorable than he already is. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. I know no one probably cares about that. <laughs> but still, like, I can't help it. When something makes my brain happy, like, it can't be helped, okay? That's just how my brain works. Like, seriously, I look at a bit- a bunch of pictures of baby kittens, and my brain goes burr because it's so cute. Just remind me, I should really check into some other things. And then my buff's gone, gone. I think I can still level up, even without the buffs. So, it's fine. It's totally fine. You still do it. You still do, still do this. I can't speak English, apparently, anymore. Well, I mean, it's now been like two hours, so. Where is the thing? Okay, but you still... So, I have like six minutes with this thing left. That's fine. Oh, what? spawn really fast anyway in this map. It's just that the totem will just make it increase even faster than it already is. thinking about is like anime like that I've gone into oh yeah I just reminded myself so hopefully after the stream I actually start reading um a manga one of the mangas out there <laughs> because I told myself like after like episode six I would read the manga and I haven't and I need to get around to reading it
Anyway, so <laughs> as I was saying. Um, yeah. So yeah, anyways, anime talk a little bit. Cause I'm bored <laughs> from like discussing like other things already. Well, it's less bored and more like I ran out of things to say. Um Anyways, uh, what was I gonna say? So yeah, anime. I had no idea where to begin with anime. <laughs> I'll say, um, I have caught up with one manga I've uh, started reading last, like, two weeks ago now? Yeah, two weeks ago. Man, it's been a while now. Um, and uh, the manga in question is uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. And, uh, it's a really good series. Um, I won't say spoilers, by the way. In this, in this place, we do not discuss manga spoilers because there's those anime-only watchers and I want to respect them, so. No spoilers for manga, manga will be said, so it's fine. So, 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 I feel like every single time I activate that skill, I just stop talking. <laughs> it's because it's like, it changes the background music, so that's why. I, I would put music in the background, like, then from the game itself, but I don't know how to loop it. <laughs> I have to figure it out. Also, I want to figure out what track this is, um, so I could actually loop it on, like, if so... It <laughs> So I can mute the game and we don't have to hear the skill change the background music so many times. I think I could still get to the level. profession crafted exp potion as well but since i'm not going to be streaming for another two hours i'm not gonna re-enable the thing but i will keep grinding in the map until i'm in the next level i'm so close so close I'll take it slow since, like, I'm close to it anyway. Two hours and about 20... F How many percent? I started the stream with set with my bar saying 77.3% EXP. And now it's, like, about two hours and the thing about to expire. Um... I'm also spawning this a lot because I'm close to the end of its uh, road. the button a lot because it'll expire in any second. Yeah, 
There we go. And it expired. <laughs> so basically, the progress made with uh, all that stuff going on. So I started, <laughs> as I literally just said, I started streaming with 77.3% and now it's like 98.2%. So, from that, as well as, like, a lot of the EXP buffs, like, if I still had a few more going for, like, maybe 20 more minutes, it would have been next level. Like, so, like, 23%. But 21% is still pretty good, because usually I don't, I don't go this far with, like, EXP buffs and all that. So, because last time, two hours was 10%. Roughly. I, I did know that the event shop also has the XP coupons, but I'm mostly trying to get arcane symbols. Because I need to get my arcane symbols up. Oh, I already used that. since I can. I'm gonna try to, uh, what's it called? Get to... Um, the 99999 combo again. Might as well. It doesn't take too long. Oh, it will take long. <laughs> but it will take too long. Also, since my buffs expired, I guess I could do the... Well, first I have to get this to fade first. I'll do the portals now since uh, the uh, totem's gone. I'll do these quickly. Oh, it's this one. And I failed. <laughs> since uh, my thing's ex like gone now, I I'll just I'll just uh, be a little more relaxed. More node stones. How many? I got 12 today. That's a lot. <laughs> what does any of this say? I don't try to bring this as a turn. I have 23k dexterity. I know most of that is from the arcane symbols, but that is still a lot of dexterity in the game. <laughs> like, of a main stat. Up duration as well, and that's why like the whole the holy symbol is like lasting longer as well. Okay, I need to fix my legs. <laughs> So it's fine. It just won't be too quickly. And now I'm getting hungry because it's like 3 p.m. for me now. <laughs> brought up earlier and didn't even continue talking about it so yeah as I have mentioned for like a few streams now 
I got into Jujutsu Kaisen a couple weeks ago. I can't even say the name of the series because my tongue stops working at the J's. Um, but, um... But anyway, so, so, like, yeah, I got into it, like, um, I think, to be fair, I think it's a already been two weeks since I read the manga now. But anyways, and, like, more than two weeks since I got into the series, uh, through the anime. Uh, yeah, I should probably also point out I haven't seen Jujutsu Kaisen Zero yet because I want to see the movie. But I haven't seen it because, like, well, like, one, it's been in... It was in theaters, technically still is, but, uh, um, it's at unfortunate times and probably nowhere near where I live. So, yeah, so I'm just, like, waiting until the, uh, it's added to Crunchyroll or something. Which I'm hoping it is at some point because I want to see it. I know there's a manga version, I know that, but, like... Like, to, if anyone's, like, wondering, it's like, Oh, you could just read the manga version of it. Well, that's the thing. I don't want to. Oh, I got the other monster collection. Wow, it just only took, like, two hours of grinding. <laughs> Why don't you do that in the other maps? Like, grind a lot, but only just to get the, uh, the monster collection thing filled in. But anyways, but it's like... Yeah, sure, I know there's a manga version of Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, but I'd rather just watch it. <laughs> because there's so much, like, love for the movie. Um, so... And also, what's interesting is that I didn't initially watch it because I was like, eh, I'll probably, I want to check out the main series first. But then I was told, oh, it's okay. But then it was like, probably after I couldn't watch it in theaters anymore. Or, like, anywhere near me, um, specifically. So, uh, yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> However, I should say this, even though I haven't seen it, I do know what happens, for the most part, in it. So, yeah, I, yeah. Also, anyways, uh, away from that, um... Oh, yeah, I want to mention that, like, I really enjoyed watching the anime. Um, I'm not going to say spoilers, no spoilers. But I will just say something about, like, one of the... Okay, so... The episodes of the anime have these after credits uh, scenes happening, like shorts. I don't know what they're called because I didn't pay attention <laughs> to the name of the segments. But it happens at the end of the episode after the credits. And it's so silly for the most part. Well, on purpose, considering how dark the series is. Um, and, um... And, uh, the thing about it is that, like... <laughs> there's one episode with an after credits segment. I forgot which one it was, which I hate that I forgot, because it was amazing. <laughs> I know it's the later episodes because because I know because I was almost done watching the whole thing when I saw it. I basically uh, how do I put this? Oh wow, I already have like this message pop up now. I'm pretty close to an early boss on the stream already. Yeah, the progress is slow now, but that's okay. We still have like the the thing. Yeah. Anyways, as I was saying. So, like, so, well, like, okay, so basically, I've obviously been aware of, like, at least the characters' existences, um, before I even got to, like, the, uh, actually checking out the series. And, but I didn't know too much, obviously, because I didn't. And, oh yeah, and also, fun fact, um, at least one of the voice actors in the English dub Voices is the English voice of a character in Genshin. 
And I say at least one because I know there's more than one voice actor from Genshin who voices in the English dub of Jujutsu Kaisen. But anyways, uh, um, okay, my brain stopped working. No, um, so basically, obviously, I knew I knew some things about characters, but not all things, obviously, because I didn't get into the series uh, at the time yet. So basically, um, obviously, I, yes, yeah, started checking it out and stuff, and that's how I know the characters now. Um, but like, anyways, that, that has nothing to do with the after credits segment. Well, it sort of does, but because I wish I remembered the episode, and I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Because I don't know if many people watch the anime who watch this are here, but there's a character and um, I could tell why they're a popular character because of the obvious reasons. Um, and and this one after credit segment, when I saw like the segment overall, I was like, what part of it was made me respond with like well i now know why people really like um well it's not just that but it's like my mind was like well this is how you get a character to be more popular than they already are just do something like this and yeah <laughs> I, I don't know what to say i'll just put back my neck is just heated up from saying that Yes, the character's cool. <laughs> That's mainly what I'm saying. Anyways, uh... But yeah. I said it better a few days ago than today, but... <laughs> That's like the best I could put it into words. Oh look, I'm almost to next level! 99%! Anyways, I hope what I just said made sense. Basically, how he also put it is like, if you know, you know. Because I don't even know what else to say <laughs> to that. I think what really just doesn't help is that I have, like, well, after I got into the series, I did look into fan art. And, uh,. Yeah, I have seen quite a bit of fan art related to this character. And don't worry, the fan art's okay. The character is 28. Because <laughs> if it's any of the other certain other characters, I would probably be questioning why it, the fan art exists at that point. But, uh, no, we're good. <laughs> the, the people who do the fan art are okay. The character <laughs> is an actual adult. <sighs> Because, as you know, the internet likes to... Yeah. We're not gonna go there! No! we rather not go there, because I... No. No. Nope. Nope. We're not going down that rabbit hole. Of, uh... Concerning things. Yeah. But yeah, but the point being, I did see a lot of interesting fan art. <laughs> it's not, like, bad. It's just more, like, just, like, fan service. I oh, and thanks to like seeing posts like that people made, I actually learned how old like some of the other characters were. Because like the adult characters. Because like while reading the manga, I only knew like did the simple math to know that one of the characters was 28, the adult characters. So I didn't know like how old the other ones were. And I didn't think too much on it. And the other reason is because I'm terrible with names. I'm terrible with names. I'm really bad with names. And, uh, so I didn't really think too much. So it took, like, seeing people's posts to be like, wait, that's how old the character was? <laughs> like, it's only, like, the character's in question only slightly younger than the character is 28. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I was shocked. And I get it. It's anime. You can make an adult look younger than their actual biological age, and that's the same for real life, depending on how, um... 
depending on the how much you take care of your skin and all that. But it's also like... But it's also like... <laughs> I, it won't change the fact that I was so shocked when I like um, saw that uh, information. <laughs> so it's, it's like I like I get I get things I understand like because you know you know animation and like or you know like the style art styles tend to be like uh is it yeah usually art style like depends on how the on making characters look younger or something. I mean, my own art style for what I'm working on is, like, makes the characters look quite young. Um, although, I haven't really drawn, like... Like, for my own for my own thing that I'm working on, like, on the side, I haven't drawn uh, adult characters from the series yet. Um, not counting flashback, uh, designs, by the way. Because <laughs> my own, like, project I'm working on. Which I have put my, uh, uh, Um, I put myself under my own NDA to not talk about it. Um, because I don't want anyone to know the details of my series. And also, it's to keep me from talking so much about my own series, like, before I even reveal it. And, um... Oh, yeah, I want to get a comment in there, there, there. Yeah, that's why I'm still grinding. Anyways, um, so, like, yeah, I put my... <laughs> I put myself under my own NDA to not talk about my series, like, to, like... I'm okay to say what I'm about to say. But I'm not gonna explain more, because if I explain too much, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to give away my own series, like, spoiling it before it even happens. But anyway, so, like, basically there will be flashback scenarios, and some of the adult characters will have, like, flashbacks, like, to their younger selves. And I have drawn, like, basically their younger selves. For, like, a bit. But, like... I... Yeah. Basically, the point being, I haven't drawn any of my characters who were actually, like, older than, like, 25. Like, yet. Actually, over 20. That makes more sense. I have drawn one, but the thing is, the character's 23, I think, I made in my story. Um, but, uh... Like, obviously, still young looking, so. Yeah. Okay, that's enough talking about that. As I, I put myself under my own NDA to not, to, like, elaborate on my series, like, to uh, a specific degree. I'm like, is it? Like, I told myself that I'm okay with saying some things. But I am not going to talk about, like, character backstories in detail. I'm not going to say which of the characters are which. Like, their names aren't even going to be said at all. Have I ever said a character's name in my own series? Like, the series I'm still working on. I don't think so. <laughs> not that I can recall, that's the thing. I don't recall ever saying... Well, I mean, okay... <laughs> Okay, maybe except for two characters. Okay, only two characters, like I have said. And, I mean, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, and another thing. Um, speaking of which, the two characters in question. Um, if anyone watches the streams regular regularly, and will be up on my next one, the Genshin ones, uh, I do have, like, a setup where you see two of my characters on the right side of the screen. But at the moment, since it's a maple story, you don't see that. You just see my character drawn. Oh yeah, I drew that, <laughs> by the way. Like, 
I don't know when I drew that. It's been so long. I don't remember. I hear the music in the background. I think of near. It really makes me think of near. Isn't it weird that when I before I even started Moonbridge, I thought we were going to walk on like cloud surfaces or something. <laughs> I do wait. Reminder: I haven't really done the Tenebris storyline myself when it was an event. And I don't even remember. <laughs> I did watch the story, but it's been so long now that I don't remember things. Like, the maps anymore. Okay. And my XP. I'm gonna be getting the level! So close! So close! Sorry, I'm just so excited to be in the next level. I guess I... Yeah. I gotta make sure my other characters get leveled up too. When I, whenever I have time. said 74. <laughs> I have leveled up. Yay! And I want to keep going because I want to get the 999 combo. I'm so close to 999 combo. There we go. Yeah, I got the points. Level 247. And now I just put this on. Just three more to go to 250. You know, I would be like closer to it as well if I didn't miss three months of Maple Story. And like, at least like. When, when did the event even start? <laughs> because when. You, because I, I miss like. Like, the event, like, uh, for a couple weeks so I can't get the EXP potion. Like from it in time. Yeah, three more for the labyrinth of suffering. And I get to see. I mean, you know, now that I think about it, I. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen the Tenebra storyline off YouTube, after I missed it. But I have to actually look up, like, to see if other people have a. Uh... And because obviously you had more of the classes released in this game. And of course, uh, they also have unique scenes in the Labyrinth of Suffering as well. And Aftermath as well. Um, cutscene. And now I see, like, I, I gotta look it up. I'm not gonna check right now because I'm still gonna get for the 9999 combo. Check like um because because I'm just thinking about the sound because I'm curious since like um I would like to see like what the uh the I don't think the dialogue is hmm. yeah that's why I had to check the dialogue but like I'm more curious about the after aftermath cutscenes for like. What were the characters released after the glory update again? <laughs> I forgot. Also, I'm kind of hungry. Ah, uh, fun. I'm gonna eat after I stream, so it's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm still doing this because I want to get the max combo again, like last time. Because I'm so close, like a thousand away. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Anyways, um... Oh yeah, the labyrinth of... Wait, not the labyrinth. Not the labyrinth specifically, but like, just the aftermath cutscenes like from the glory update, um, which obviously are connected to Cernium. I'm just like, like... Like, I mean, because I, I'm curious... Okay, I read it off the wiki. I did read what they're about off the wiki. Like, for like, Kane and Lara, but... Lara? Lara? I, Lara? I forgot her name pronunciation. No. <laughs> but basically, I haven't. I only read theirs off the wiki, as well as the new version of for the explorer classes, um, as well. Because not only is the main storyline getting revamped, but the entire thing is, um, like the aftermath cutscene too. So the original one from the glory update is outdated now. Unfortunately. Uh, I mean, that's okay because the new one seems more interesting, but <laughs> I can't see it unless someone uploaded a YouTube video on it. Oh, yeah, that's like. Oh, yeah, that is something that I always think about with this game. It's like, I wish, like. Don't, like. I mean, like, you can still have it, like, accessible, like, the story for, like, higher levels. Oh, literally, boss. But it's like... Wait, where'd a boss go? Here you go. Um... Oh gosh, I almost lost my HP. That wouldn't be fun. So I don't want to go... I had to pay attention to the top of the screen so the spikes don't eliminate me so easily. Like there. rid of these guys pretty quickly because obviously if ever I whenever I spawn an elite boss in um like while playing another character I can never eliminate these quickly well except for with my arc um which is the second highest level character in my uh in yeah here I always want to make sure my arc is always the second highest level character Oh yeah, once I reach 250, whenever, and the potions will be absolutely useless because there's none above like 250 yet in the game. I'll just toss all of them on my arc. Oh yeah, my favorite thing about like with the aftermath cutscenes is that all of the um all of the uh all the Grandis characters have unique um, after mascot scenes. Out. <laughs> uh, well, it makes sense because they're all like very different uh, classes. So of course, the, all their story stuff is different. I think like that's what I usually like about the characters. Uh oh, you don't spawn. Spawn. Oh, wait, okay, we, I still got my comma. Okay, just 900 more and then I'm done for the stream. And also I guess I get a chance to get more node stones because I need more to like level up my things. It's so satisfying seeing the EX par increase over time. <laughs> So I'm gonna make sure I get some EXP, because <laughs> I need to slowly start making my way to the next level. I think on average, like, every day, I get about, like... I 
like at about like two, three percent, or like at least up to five percent. So, <clears throat> at my throat. Oh yeah, because I'm now the next level, I have to look at other maps again to see like the EXP values. I'm glad I know about how like the EXP percent of EXP. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, percent of EXP when I was talking about like how much I get usually on average every day. because uh, of course I do get lazy and not really do much other than dailies on this character. I am starting to do some bo some more like boss runs frequently but mainly just to get stuff from my other characters. As well as like the reward points. Um, yeah, so that's uh, I still remember when like I told myself like okay I'll actually I did like consider like 10% to like to get at least 10% every day but of course it's very exhausting <laughs> so I was like no <laughs> two, I mean like thinking about it it is a lot of EXP <laughs> uh, I mean I will say that when I was still like in the level 2 at level 230 like like that whole story when I said I died at level 230 and lost <laughs> lost a lot of my EXP. Um, I was getting that it, it, it was like a lot of EXP for like, definitely like around like, at least, okay, I don't know if it was an hour, I forgot, but it was a lot. Like at least like 10%. And then I died before the death penalty changed. And then... And then, like, because, like, I was so angry that I lost so much, I just, like, forced myself to grind for, like, who knows how long to get 20% EXP that day. Uh... I... I hate reminding myself that that happened, but I just can't get over the fact that I left my computer for one minute, and then I found myself dead in the game when I came back. Because a part of me didn't think, huh, I should probably leave the map so the anti-AFK enemy doesn't respawn and eliminate me. Uh, so I'm never gonna live that down. I'm never gonna live it down. Uh, and again, it was before they changed the penalty in the game, so <laughs> that, that's why. Obsessed with looting all the mesas. I think like about like 40 mil <laughs> from just grinding. I really can't wait for the next storyline. I just really want to see it on YouTube. Well, I'm. The next storyline, as in the one after Hotel Arcus in the next update. <laughs> I. Also, but also, I would like to see the Labyrinth of Suffering and Lamina um, parts of the story as this character, like myself. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, I will say that if I ever. I, I'll say this. If I ever get to 260 and do Cernium and all that, I will record it again for YouTube. I did record a Glory update versions, but I will record the permanent versions as well. 
I kind of just gonna say that now because there's a chance that I will record it again. Of course, the difference is I'm able to actually record it, well, all the available stuff in one go. I don't, uh, I don't know how it's split though, because obviously the Cernium after is uh, 265. Uh, yeah, I don't really know how it's working out. Um. <clears throat> yeah, but anyways, I'll, I'll figure all that stuff out whenever I get there. Actually, I think someone on YouTube yeah, probably uploaded the uh, permanent version of Cernium. So, maybe I'll find out there. Because I'm curious if there's like little bits of changes other than the fact that it actually has an area in the game. Like, permanently. So. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. I wish it was like... <laughs> I, for I just remember what I was trying to say earlier. But, like, I wish there was, like, an option in the game for, like, you know, like the blockbusters, like, um, storylines in the game. Like, I wish it was like that for, like, the later storylines. Like, story versions. And then, like, you'll still access the story again permanently, but it's like, can you just put a vent version? Well, not a vent, but, like, because that's limited time, but, like, an actual, like, option to go through the story alone <laughs> like without having to be a ridiculously high level it'd be so nice but at least we got youtube for that <laughs> and people actually recording it i do have a gut feeling that not really a gut feeling but considering like they did to do an event version for Tenebris so everyone could experience the end of the story. Um, of that arc specifically. And they did it again for the glory update. It's pretty clear that they will do it again, like for a future storyline. It's just a matter of when, because obviously at the moment, nothing like that is gonna happen anytime soon. So. I am very curious on how like the story will go basically from what I've gathered and from what I read not counting um like read to like get the details again I'm not gonna count the next area that will be in the next update for global because uh, I don't want to confuse myself so basically obviously after the defeat we have all the aftermath stuff and then Basically, the world without the transcendence, um... Basically, breaks the barrier that separated Grandis and Maple World. And the initial reason, I think, if I remember correctly from reading, is that it was, like, done to seal the uh, ancient gods. So basically, doing this awaken the ancient gods, or will s slowly awaken all of them. To a degree. And then the Cernium events happen, so basically we do have one of the gods there. Um... <clears throat> and, of course, actually, well, obviously, first off, Darmor is set up as the next antagonist. Um, main antagonist. And it makes it more interesting to play Garanda's character because of like Darmor being like the ne eh. the next antagonist. I can't speak because <laughs> uh, I get to see all the uh, Garanda's probably like unique dialogue um, with it. <sighs> oh my god, the music chain, <laughs> the music loop. 
scared me. Uh, okay, come on, get to 999. Anyway, so, um, so yeah. I had to read up on Darmor's lore. Like, is he purposely trying to awaken the gods or something or destroying them? I don't know. Basically, he's trying to get more power, I guess. I think what's, I think what's the most interesting is what our character caught on to what he said as, like, Aaron. Um, where it's like, I hate the flora as much as, like, I, the high flora as much as, like, whatever he said. Basically, lore. Um, <laughs> stuff going on. Basically, it's like, was that a lie or was he truthful? <laughs> and it just ends with that cliffhanger. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I remember when the story is just like, oh, you reached the end of this storyline. And it's like, no, I wanted to know what happens next. So basically, from what I could tell and read through, basically the current situation in the main story of Maple Story is basically learning more about the ancient gods and uh, yeah, basically learning more about the ancient gods and all that stuff going on. Are we also? I was a big. Oh, I really have to look back into it a little more. Like, are we also trying to awaken the gods? Because apparently in Hotel Arcus, a, a god is awakened, basically. So, I do have to read up on the thing a bit more to get clarification. But I'd like to see where the story goes. Eh, because, like, thinking about. Like, I really enjoyed the story in this game. Even though the game did originally start off being like, Oh, an adventure and all these mushrooms. Oh my god. I remember I saw a comment like that, like when Tenebris was releasing Global, by the way. <laughs> because, um, one of, one, of, one of the voice actors, uh, the voice actor for Cygnus announced that, uh, she's voicing Cygnus. Um, like, I remember, like, one of the comments, uh, um, basically, it's someone who actually knows the voice actor personally, I think. I don't know their relationship. I've heard things, but I actually don't know. But basically, I remember their comment was like, Wait, what? When did MapleStory get this com complex or something? I remember it was just mushrooms. <laughs> and exploration. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, like, that was, like, a comment I remember reading. And to be fair, like, it's been an insane journey, like, with how the story slowly shaped up. I can tell now that they're starting to try to make sure the lore stays consistent, so... But, like, like with, like, the Explorer storyline revamp, like, um... Because, like, they changed the lore a bit with the Seal Stones, I think. So that's why they changed, like, what the deal with the Seal Stones in, um... Yeah, the Explorer storyline. And, uh, what else? Yeah. But all those, there's still, like, so many other characters that they would have to revamp the storyline, so... Because I think, like, Aaron and... Uh, Aaron and Evan's storylines are... Like, I mean, they're still, like... Mm. They still, like, match up with the lore, but it's like some parts are still outdated. Um... Like, there's still some pieces that are, like, out left outdated. So, hopefully, like, at some point it's revamped. 
I was thinking they would have revamped them during like the Heroes to Maple release, but they didn't. <laughs> I thought they would, but they didn't. sitting in this chair for too long. I'm almost done with the combo thing. Yeah, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. After that, I am done with the stream and I'll go to uh, uh, Moras and sit in the map and end it off. Okay, so yeah, from, okay, so from what I got her, like, at least, like, after Hotel Arcus, basically, our characters continue to get information on the ancient gods in the story. And from what I briefly read related to the next storyline, I didn't read too much because I wanted to wait until we get the, uh, global release and I watch YouTube videos. But, um... I, like, from what little I read, basically, it the end of it sets up that we would learn more about Darmor's uh, motives for what he's doing. And, like, along with some other information, like, in the storyline after the next one, so... Oh, I'm curious, though. <coughs> Also, now that I think about it, like, thinking about, like, these storylines and, like, how it's going to take years and years and years to go through any of them. It's also making me think, which one? What? What? what <laughs> okay, I feel like Maester would get a story, like, like, through, like, by then, but... But, like, I'm just, like, thinking about, like, Genshin as well. Because, uh, Genshin, they have at least, like, ten years planned. Like, ten to, like... I say at least, because obviously things change over time. <clears throat> but like, they... But I've... I don't know if they've kind of... I think in an interview they probably said like, it could be like... Like, at least within five years they would have all the main like, elemental regions available, so basically... Like, at the moment, like, the third... Wait, not the third, uh... Okay, so basically in Genshin, there's, uh... There's three regions already available. And basically, the next four... Basically, it's like, at least for the next four within, like, five years or something. Alright, there you go! Nine, 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 nine. Okay, and I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh, I forgot. My guide is gone. There. Okay. I'm done. For now. For today. I wonder if I could go here. I probably can't, I guess. This outpost. I probably- I don't think I can. Okay, let's just go to, uh, Morass. I still have a teleport rock from daily login- I mean, daily gift thing? Whatever. Okay. First off- oh boy, I have so many of these. I don't care about this stuff. Was I like, dumped it. I have 30 of these! <laughs> from, like, three hours of grinding. Okay, let's see what I get from 13 node stones. Okay, something I don't use. Something. Okay. Oh, I thought that was... <laughs> I'm looking at the names in the corner <laughs> as I do this, so... I am trying to see which ones are which. <coughs> I as a skill I don't use. Ah. It's 
been kind of a long day. Not really. Like, nothing bad, but, like, per like personally, but just more like, I've been awake <laughs> for, like, since 7 in the morning. <laughs> so. And that's a useless thing. I think. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, guess I'll keep that. Okay. Let's go adjust my things. Okay, this is what I usually do with uh, node stones. I make sure I get the ones that I locked in place leveled. do this real quick and then end things off While trying to get the max combo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have so many of these. I want to sell them, but I do need more, like, uh, profession, like, related things. Gosh, I have so many things. Uh, I'll, I'll organize later. <laughs> okay, so I have to get my previous mod edited as well. I haven't. Because I got lazy yesterday. Ah, <sighs> and now we're in this relaxing zone. It's so lovely. What? Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, some of the arcane symbol. I know I can advance this. But the reason I haven't is because I've heard that in the next update, they reduce the cost? If it's not the, the last two symbols I have, then uh, I could just upgrade it. I didn't read into it yet. I'll just wait till they, the next update is set up for global to find out. But yeah. And uh, that will be all for today's stream. I have finally achieved the level 247, and I got about like a total of 24% uh, EXP today. 24.3, I think. Yeah. That's a lot of EXP in a day, but that's because I have a lot of the EXP increasing stuff. Of course, I will say it's not gonna last long because uh, this expires. <laughs> um in a couple days. But it's okay. Ah, my arms need stretch. Um, so yeah, it'll still be a while before anyone sees me go through the labyrinth of suffering myself. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, so for the next couple of streams, I'm going to be playing some Genshin because the 2.7 update will be coming out. Uh, so obviously because of like the delay situation as well as like other things going on back in the country where the company is. Um, the update's um, late Monday in my time zone. So that, but regardless, I'm playing it on Tuesday, so that's the stream. It depends on if the story is available on day one. Hopefully it is, because I really don't want spoilers. <laughs> um, uh, related to, uh, the, uh, interlude chapter, that's, that's what's going to be released, as well as, like, get to that when I actually start to when I when I actually stream it but yeah I can't wait for the story especially
especially since I haven't checked tags because I'm scared people are spoiling because, you know. No one apparently learns that the betas are under NDA and they like to break the NDA. Because people don't learn. Uh, yeah. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> it stresses me out knowing people do that. <laughs> but anyways, I can't, that'll be in the next stream. I'm not sure when I'll do a Maple Story stream again. Because I know that a couple streams after. Oh yeah, I just remembered. In a month from now, I'm going to be doing a Let's Play on the on a game called I, the Somniophiles Nirvana Initiative. And that's coming out next month. At least in for a... Oops, the audio is going to be gone. At least for um people in the States, because it's delayed for Europe. Um, till July, unfortunately, for the European, Europe people. Um, but yeah, so next month, it's late next month, but still. Next month is the next Let's Play. I can't wait, and I'm gonna make sure I try to do as much as I can. Like, considering people will spoil that game. But of course, I will have to make sure that I have the spoiler, like, warning at the start as well, since it is a very spoiler game, considering the creator of the game um, is known for its, like, very crazy spoiler twist and all that. <laughs> so yeah, can't wait. And, but yeah. Um, not sure when I'll do another Maple Story stream, though. It'll probably be... I'll probably throw one in in the middle of everything. I don't know. <laughs> I'll think about it. So anyway, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs>